I'm going to be doing this video while I am doing my skincare because I just got so many things that I did show you in the other video. So let's do this together. I just took off my wig, which is from my brand EB Hair. If you don't know that I sell hair, but I know it now, okay? I just thought like, I haven't talked about my move to private uni and everybody asks me about that. Like my entire TikTok following is about that. So let me just start like, I know it's a skincare video, but it's a filter in this video, okay? So don't even ask me anything funny. We're rolling. November 2022. And if you guys don't know, I used to go to UN University of Nigeria. Oh my god, that thing was so cringy. But when they say of the greatest, whoa, whoa, like, you're talking about us. Like, don't play with it. I mean, who I was, I'm not anymore. So I used to go to the University of Nigeria, forgot to take off my rings. Oops. And it was almost time for school. After being on strike for one year, you guys, like the federal system is so bloody bad because we were on strike for like one year, right? And let's say, imagine school. School was resuming on Monday and like today is Friday now. So I was getting ready to go back to school, okay? I was actively getting ready to go back to school but i did have some issues in school issues i will not address on this video because i'm saving it for content for another video Duh. and so it was already like difficult to go so my dad out of the blue just said we're changing schools i think my mom kind of convinced him or something but they were like we're changing schools we're not doing UN anymore you're going to base i was like what okay that's good because we have been trying to push for private uni during the whole strike my dad wasn't shaking but he finally shook okay he shook <laughs> i called biz da, 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 did the whole admission process thing time to pay for your school fees it was not paying like biz is not a very good school let me just tell you that in case you have plans of coming to biz it's not a good school let me just tell you that and we tried to pay so many times but it just wasn't working my dad was like okay this is a sign this school isn't good we didn't even know how bad the school was before that and he was like you know what let's go to Nile I don't know why some of you most of you think I go to base but like all of you already know what school I go to and I was hiding it in the beginning because you say oh I'm not a celebrity why am I hiding my school let me tell you if no man has ever come to your school to look for you and asking everybody and asking all your lecturers that I'm looking for Nunu in Tuzo department don't even tell me anything because it's happened before and I'm just being cautious okay but I can't be cautious anymore because so many people see me at my school and talk to me so like the cat is kind of out of the bag and I was always going to talk about my school anyway in case you had any plans of coming so my dad was like let's do Nile cool and I will make a separate video on the admission process and what you need to get into the school if you guys want me to do that but anyway it took like a week and I was in I resumed late obviously so I was really scared I was so overwhelmed like you don't understand and then i couldn't get a hostel because i was so late and i was driving to school every morning for like the first two three weeks guys that whole experience there's nothing funny about that like because my school is kind of far right and all the traffic in abuja happens on that airport road so if you accidentally make it to the 8 30 traffic you're going to sleep there till like 10. so i had to wake up by 6 something every morning and i had to make sure i was out of the house by 7 every single morning and it wasn't really conducive because I was new, I didn't know anybody, I didn't know where my classes were. During my break, I'll go back to my car and I would sit down, I'll just be sad. Like, and then the drive back home, that's the worst kind of traffic. And you guys know I'm a soft, I'm a soft babe. Like, anything that's going to stress me, I'm really not interested. I remember there was one night I stayed in school so late, it got dark. I literally had to clamp my car there because I'm not driving in the night. That's never going to happen. And then I went home. And that part like really gingered my parents they were everybody's next like because my school is very crazy they have enough hostel rooms they just want you to kind of beg for it i don't know but i played the whole pity i'm a transfer student card and after two and a half weeks i had a hostel i was so happy i was in the room of four i had these amazing i had these okay roommates okay <laughs> Now onto my classes, I was always confused a lot. I was always getting into the wrong class all the freaking time. And it's so embarrassing, like when you open the door and everyone just looking at you like, and then you have to be like, oh sorry, and then you close it back. I was amazed, you know? I'm not trying to sound like someone that's not bougie, but when you're coming from the trenches, like a federal university, 
and you come to a school where it's so spacious, magnificent, you enter the faculty and the face is taking you up and down, like the labs, everything is working. Trust me, you're going to be amazed as well. It doesn't matter like where you're coming from, it literally doesn't. So yeah, I had to work extra hard because I didn't have like a good result coming from UNN. And because I changed my course, I also had to step down. I've been washing this face for <laughs> the past five minutes. Give me one second. And as far as what course I'm studying now, in UNN, I was studying medicine. I never, want to, I never wanted to be a doctor, so don't even ask me about that. Don't even ask me, oh, why did you leave medicine? It's never, it was never a dream of mine. And my parents did try to convince me like, to do medicine. Like, you're in a better school, a better establishment. I'm sure you can do it. But first of all, medicine costs, right now, it costs like 6 million to study in my school, aside your hostel. So with your hostel, it's like 7, it's like 8, 8 million. And I was like, I think you need somebody who is passionate about medicine to spend 8 million naira on, because it's not me. So I was like, I just need me a 4 year course that I'm just going to be done with. Because at that time, I had already discovered that I was business savvy, like I really wanted to be an entrepreneur. I have a business, obviously. So I knew that I wasn't an academic, right? And I was like, give me a short course. So they gave me, they told me to choose between public health and anatomy and obviously physiology, which I am studying now. So those of you always asking me what I'm studying, I'm always answering you with the funniest answers, but it's physiology that I'm studying. Human physiology, don't ask me what it's about. I mean, I don't know, but it's very nice, okay? It's very good. And yeah, that's like a summary of the whole thing if you guys have any questions i'm going to make like in more in-depth videos if i catch the syrup why would somebody be turning white what in the lord's name is this and it's so dry like it's so freaking dry so if you guys have any more like questions i'm definitely going to answer but this is just me i think finally admitting what school i go to because i've been hiding it kind of but everybody knows everybody knows at this point okay and i'm tired of like hiding it so that's it get your questions ready this is just like an intro video that's why it's going to be so freaking short i will talk about my first day in detail i will talk about the cultural shocks in detail i will talk about the lecturers in detail and the hostel in detail the faculty in detail everything just let me know what questions you have because i am so ready but yeah this is the first video of my series called private uni edition no nunu goes to private school how, how does that sound i don't know thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and i am going to do a giveaway in december because 1k followers is not these okay i love you guys thank you share all of that good stuff bye